Hi guys, Carlo here and we are going to react about the new patch notes in Legends of Rundae. So according to them, they get the meta analysis and surveys from the social media, from the community feedback, and they are targeting a number of dominant decks like puppy centric decks. I think they already they already destroyed puppy. That's back. That's hard fix. So they're target, targeting Poppy Centric Decks, Sejuani Gangplank, The OG, and Cyan Raven. So generally aiming to improve meta and region diversity. They are especially buffing Trade Lord with a number of card usability buffs. Wow. Let's see, it's, it is very exciting. So now let's take a look at exactly what's changing. Champions. Wait. Base stats three from three six to one six, and now base stats from ten six to eight six. I think this is too much for Sion from being. I think this is too much for Sion because Sion has been very. Siren is not that popular in the current meta. It has been the current meta has been dominated by Aridex and Spiders, Pantheons, and Nami TS or Shelf of Lex. So this is too much for Siren, considering that it's not that popular right now. But still, I think they are giving way to more to more champions to be to more champions to be to be on the spot right? but for me personally i love scion dex and this is this is like uh, shutting down the entire scion dex next even the scion return it is 8-4 so but overall i think this 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 back this change into cyan is a healthy change because uh, the cyan before uh, is very strong and even if it is resurrected it is still like a slam on the board finisher but now that they have to, they have subtracted the attack the attack points of Sion, I think it is manageable to win. It is more manageable than before. Because before you have to specifically have mini morph on your hand. But now, even if Sion is resurrected, they will be remaining, they will still have remaining H. You still have remaining H. So I think this is an overall strong uh, ba uh, balance, an overall balance change for Sion. Next Ash, level up Ash level up requirements. You plus B ten five plus enemies. So now you plus B ten four plus enemies. I think we will see more Ash. On the next time on the this is a very this is a very strong strong change in terms of ash and we can see more ash later on the on the next weeks because of this change people will really experiment on ash because of this change Trundle 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 base stats 4, 5 to 4, 6 5, 6 to 5, 7. 
this is also a good change for Trandel. At uh, Riot, I think Riot is giving giving away for the for Fear the Rush. So Fear the Rush might be a thing after this change. As well as Ash decks, Ash plus Bites decks, people will try to come up with a uh, lineup with with the list of Ash decks because of this change. Nivia. Base stats 2, 4, 3, 5. Base stats 3, 5 to 4, 6. They added more. They added more attack points for Anivia. I think Anivia is not that good eh, because of mini morph. So if the opponent has mini morph and they will reserve the mini morph for Anivia, it is. It, doesn't have anything on the deck anymore but let's say for example the opponent has just two mini morphs and you manage to play around that and you destroy anivia before it gets mini morph then you can have uh, then you can have your main condition but other than that anivia deck will be strong because of this one other than facing up against mini morph decks Kindred, Kindred is not a trainer, but Kindred, 5 costs, 2, 4 costs, but 4, 3. Okay. And 5 costs, 2, 4 costs, 5, 4. So I think this is a good change for Kindred. Because uh, it has been one of the champions that are rarely used by the, by the community. But overall, this change is very good because I can have more videos with new decks because of the changes. So I'm not, I'm not mad at this. Maokai. Maokai, effect triggers on playing another alley. Effect triggers on summoning another alley. What? Change? The effect triggers on playing another alley. Ah, so now it triggers when you summon. So, the flipping Maokai will be faster because of this one. So, that's also a good one. So, you can activate spell cards that, that summon units. And then, by doing that, you'll also, you'll also trigger the effect of Maokai. So, this is a good one. Darius. So, I'm very excited with this Darius one because uh, when I saw the Alan's post, he said that Darius would be good if they make it like a commander where they are buffing something. So now let's see. <laughs> so they did not change anything on Darius. They just added more stats, more beef on to this one. So I think it is still not playable considering the, the meta right now when mini morph is mini morph is prevalent. So if you drop Darius, it will be traded by a six mana mini mark. So that's not that's not really a bad trade, but overall I think Darius uh, needs more needs to be reworked. But still it is a good good change. Diana So Diana, give me a challenger this round. Nightfall or when you activate another Nightfall, give me Challenger Discount. What? Nightfall, give me Challenger Discount. Nightfall or when you activate another Nightfall, give me Challenger Discount. Ah. So, uh, before, Diana can only be Challenger during the, during the Nightfall turn that she is on. But now it can also be activated on the other turns. So it is also a good one. It is a good change. Because Diana can also can still become a challenger after the turn she is summoned. So for example, you summon Diana turn two, you make her challenger, and then you summon something, you activated Ninefall on turn four, and then you, you make Diana challenger on that. So this is a good change for Diana. You can still experiment on Diana. Next Serat. Base stats 3, 3, now it is 3, 4. And then base stats is 4, 5. So.
and ability now triggers on destroy a landmark and targets enemy units before targeting the nexus. Ability now triggers on destroy a landmark and targets before targeting the nexus. I don't have anything on Seraph, but, but I think uh, I can also make a video about Seraph, about Seraph gameplay because of this bug. Ma, but I think the Serat, the best, one of the best Serat decks are the ones with six, because of the synergy with synergy with landmarks. Other than that, I don't think there's a, there are other there are other champions that can be paired with Serat. But this is a good one. Okay, so now we are done with champions. Overall, we had what? 7, 8, 9. 9 changes on champion. So that's a very good one for, for in terms of creating more videos because I can create uh, new videos with uh, these new changes on the different champions. Now let's go to the changes on followers. So the first one is Bandel City Mayor. So your multi region costs one less. And now it is changed to the first multi region unit you play, each town costs one less. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a direct nerf to Poppy Decks because uh, for Poppy Decks, you need to have enough units to, to attack with Poppy so that. Uh, you have a white board with all with uh, buff attacks but because of this change it is just the first unit that will get the discount it is still good it is still good for bundle city mayor but this is just a direct hit for the puppy decks just like what they have mentioned however shelf oh my god So they changed the stats of Shellfolk to 4-4. Uh, now Shellfolk can be killed with uh, think, I think 2 Mystic Shots and 1 Get Excited plus Mystic Shot or uh, any other. But I think this is still good because they did not change the effect of Curious Shot. I don't know if I will still play. I'm planning to play Anami TF for the, for the seasonals. But uh, now I will test the waters on this one. I will, I will, I will try to see if having a four four stats for curious shelf walk will change anything. But I think it doesn't change anything. It will just be uh, killable by two more than two removals. But other than that, it is still a strong card. Lecturing your deal. When I'm summoned or attack, create a fleeting poison dart. Attack, fleeting poison dart. So that is one of the. I think I have, I have watched a YouTuber uh, telling something like that. That for your lecture, lecturing your deal. Uh, the effect should be on attack. I think this is a healthy change for this card. It is still strong, don't get me wrong, but it is a good balance for the lecturing your deck. Harpoon! Give 5 to a unit, thunder, I cost 3 less. Hit that stairs. Play obliterate all landmarks or deal 2 to all other units. Now play obliterate all landmarks and deal 3 to all other units. So this is this will be a uh, very very strong card for the peak decks because I think it can destroy the entire board when you drop that peak that stairs. Voices of the old ones. Gain two empty mana gems for the top four cards in your deck. Draw each card that costs eight plus. Then place the rest 
into your deck. Now, gain to empty gems for the top 5 cards in your deck. Draw each card that costs 8 plus turn face to face into your deck. This is us. They are like buffing the pick decks because of these changes. Keep that stairs and voices of the old ones. Next, Iceborne Legacy. Slow to burst. Wow. Wow. Slow to burst. Uh, this will have uh, more interesting decks with Iceborne Legacy. I think one of the most popular ones would be the with the photo decks with Panon. And when you make Iceborne Legacy burst, they could have they could establish a board and then Iceborne Legacy will become a uh, combat ring. Grant an ally and all allied copies of it everywhere plus two. two. So this will be good, very good for the for the photo decks. Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Face that street with the big one. Okay. I don't have I don't have anything against this card. Doesn't I think it will be free, but not the popular I think. Photo herd. Photo herder. When I'm someone, draw a photo if you have a photo, a photo alley. When I'm someone, if you draw, if you draw a photo, draw a photo. Okay. Okay, so they are like buffing photo with this one. Because now it is behold. Not, not really sure how about it, but that's a good change, I think. For trailer, jump one four four fourteen to four four. Now jump one could be could be good. Could be used to to fight on the because four four mana cards right now are all strong stated. So jump one being four three to four four could be an overall good. A good way to to fight against for the right now. It doesn't change anything, but it is it looks good for jump. Growing tracks. Three three to four four. If I can now trigger up to six times, increase from five. Okay, this is very interesting because there are a lot of the ideas that pop up in my mind because of these changes. Coral creatures, one, two, two, one, three. So when I'm someone, create uh, in hand a random one to spell from your regions. Okay, good change. Ascended rise from seven to six. Level up all level one ascended other. Okay, so uh, they, this are this this is a direct buff to the mono deck. Corina, 66 Wow. I think the the riot the riot changed too much cards to shake up the meta. And it re, it will really shake up the meta because most of the important cards from from the previous history of lore are being buffed. And then the some of the some of the cards that have been strong for uh, are some of the cards that have been strong for a while are getting getting nerfed. So this is a very interesting time to play Leg Legends of Lotera because of the different buffs that that we that we have received. Back Ali Bar Barky, three two two three three. Can now create cards outside of your next region. Okay. This is like a random deck, but this is very interesting also when paired with timelines. So this is very good and exciting. Shurima, birds and this. Start of game, draw one of me if all of your cards are Shurima. 
then start of game summon one of me if all of your cards are shulima so what did what is the change mm. okay so you no longer have to spend mana for the birds and this if you don't you no longer have to spend one mana for the birds and this if all of your decks are Shurima. Okay. Vengeance to 6 cost. Insane. So they are. Because of this change. Vengeance, vengeance to 6 cost. They are. They are, they are incent incentivized. Using us to use. The Shadow Isles. Instead of Bandit City. Because. Uh. For the mini morph, it is six cost, right? But uh, you do you will not, you will not destroy the unit. But for vengeance, unless the opponent has spell shield, it is a hard removal. And even if, and even if you have, even if it is mini morph, if the opponent has spell shield, you still need to commit something to pop the spell shield. So I think uh, this is a very good way of giving the players more options to kill a unit by decreasing the cost of vengeance. Golden Crash Bot subtype nan subtype tech. Wow, they are making Golden Crash Bot a tech. This will be good for the for the McDonald's or the the ones that are. Um, granting something to text to tech so this is a very this, this is good in terms of in terms of the the timer being I deck hidden path ways to six so cost if cost two less if you created two plus cards so they will make hidden pathways for mana Okay. So the pa so that will be the last change. The following person and the station I can World Breaker Tron the Ice Feeder. Alternate art plus new level of animation. Ah so this is for Trander. World Breaker is the spider the alternate art. Wow, I like this one. I like the Aegis change. World Breaker Sion, alternate art. World Breaker Nazis, World Breaker Mao Pai of the Sun. New board. Oh, I like this one. Temple of the Sun. World Breaker Chief, card box. Bye. Okay, so overall, this this change has been very exciting for the for content creators because they can make new things that are exciting for the viewers. I think this is a very good change, but uh, for the meta, I think it will be spiders. Spider aggro is not touched, so they should be good. Arikana is also not touched, so they will be good also. Mm. What else? Nami TF is still playable, I think. Uh, if it is given to the hands of a player that can fight, it still, it will still be good. So that will be the meta. In terms of the newcomers, I think people will experiment on Ash because of the change. People will experiment on Ash decks. Uh, Feel the Rush, FTR, Trundle, Trundle Dex, and Anivia Dex. So that will be all for the for the patch 3.0. So please like, share, and subscribe.